Hey, Riley J. 2A here. Okay. Today I'm going to be talking about the Washington State Magazine Band. Okay. Washington State, my home state, where I live. Um, okay, so to do a quick recap, uh, this legislative session, 2022, um, the state passed a so-called high-capacity magazine ban, okay, SB5078, and that was signed into law by Governor Inslee. That law took effect on July 1st, and now we have a magazine ban, okay, unfortunately. But um, a lawsuit was filed, Sullivan v. Ferguson. I've talked about Sullivan v. Ferguson before on my channel. Here I am talking about it again. Um, so, and that's what I'm here to talk about today is Sullivan v. Ferguson update. A trial date in this case has been set for December 4th, 2023. It's unfortunate, you know, it would have been nice if it was, I don't know, December 4th, 2022 or anytime sooner. But no, nope, it is what it is. December 4th, 2023 is the trial date for Sullivan v. Ferguson. Uh, you know, a suit looking to overturn Washington State's magazine ban. Okay, the magazine ban is a 10-round limitation. You can't have more than 10 rounds. So it's, you know, so-called high-capacity magazine, but we know, standard-capacity magazine ban. Um, so that's... Yeah, we pretty much we we pretty much just wait until uh, December fourth, twenty twenty three. Um, we just have to deal with this unconstitutional magazine ban. Uh, I definitely think that in time it will be overturned because you know New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin decision. You know, magazine bans are unconstitutional. And based on that, we, in the meantime, we can keep our eyes on Duncan v. Bonta, which is California's magazine ban case. Okay. If that is found unconstitutional by the Ninth Circuit uh, Court of Appeals before December 4th, 2023, that, uh, that could affect us here in Washington. Uh, that could affect our magazine ban as well, as Washington is also in the Ninth Circuit. So, you know, that, that could be good. Uh, it really just depends on what's going to happen first. So in any case, uh, that's just a quick update on our magazine ban uh, situation. Um, that's really all I wanted to talk about, but um, there's one more thing. Uh if you live here in Washington, keep your eyes and your ears open, okay? I believe, this is my personal opinion, uh, many people also feel this way, and including me. I really think here in the state, this upcoming legislative session, I think they're going to try hard to ban so-called assault weapons, okay? Now, the state defines assault weapon as any semi-automatic center-fired rifle, okay? So I believe they are going to try and pass a so-called assault weapons ban. You know, they tried last year. However, that the assault weapons ban last year died um, because they were focused on other things such as the magazine ban, there's, you know, so-called high-capacity magazine ban, so-called ghost gun ban, and adding new sensitive locations, otherwise known as more gun-free zones. Okay, they did all that last session, so I believe they're going to focus mainly this session on banning so-called assault weapons, so we need to watch out for that. We don't want uh, that to pass, 
certainly. So, you know, watch out for one of these bills to be submitted. And, uh, you know, once the session starts, of course, watch out for this to be submitted. And then, you know, once it, once it is or if it is, um, you know, contact your representatives. Tell them not to vote for this absolute garbage. You know, we, we don't want it. You know, because yes, it would eventually be found unconstitutional based on the decision in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. But that could take years, as we're seeing with the magazine ban. We weren't able to stop the magazine ban. Let's hope we can stop uh, an assault weapon ban, okay? So that's going to be it. I just wanted to do a quick update on the magazine ban situation and give a heads up. Watch out for incoming assault weapons bans, okay? Just thought I would keep it simple, do a shorter, you know, Washington State uh, video today. And so uh, did it. <laughs> so it's going to be it for me. Goodbye.